Hello, my name is Mike Jackson and I'm the auger specialist at Provo International Manufacturing. In this video we will go through assembly of the motor and the top bearing of the mixing auger. If you have any questions after viewing this video, please call Provo Support at 403-335-9500. We're ready to assemble the top bearing and motor. We're starting with, uh, with the shaft. We'll put more anti-seize on again. And this end is way easier to put on. There, now we're ready for the motor offset bracket. We're going to support the auger flighting with the crane just to pick it up to make my work a little bit easier to get these holes to line up. If, if you don't have the crane, of what you probably won't, just a second guy holding that auger up while you put it in the bolts would be good. On the newer style augers, we have a carriage bolt. It's for these ends, but the older augers. You'll have to just use a regular hex, hex bolt. Now the four bolts are in, we'll just snug all these four bolts tight. Okay, now we're ready for the bearing. We have uh, switched up and used a different bearing than the older machines had. These things seem to last a lot longer, they're standing up really well. But you put them together a little bit different. Unscrew the collar so you can actually pull it right off. And then you'll have to take and knock the insert out. Now we've got the collar out of the bearing there. Take and shove the collar on all the way. And then uh, your bearing with one of the, there's two grease nipples on there. Have it so the grease nipple sticks straight up. And we'll put our bolts in. Put it in so your threads are facing out. Then if when you take your bearing off, your threads aren't covered in concrete. So we'll tighten these bolts up, but just tighten it so the bearing is pressed flat against the plate and leave the bolts just a little bit loose because we need to adjust the height of the bearing later when we put the motor on. Every, every time I tighten the bolt up, I backed it off just a hair so this bearing is free to move. Now we'll screw the collar in. Screw it in, in by hand. And our wrench for tightening it, you won't have that, so we'll just use a hammer and a punch. Just keep going until it's, it's snug. And after you get it snug, about a quarter of a turn more. And then there's two set screws on the top bearing that need to be tightened when you're done. There, we've installed the top shaft and uh, the top bearing. Okay, we're ready to install the motor onto the onto the end of the shaft now. It's good practice just to uh, put a little bit of grease on both splines on the motor and then the 
shaft end. Then we'll take the collar, shove it onto the shaft end of the auger, and grab the motor. And turn it till you find the splines line up. Shove it on, and we're ready to put our bolts in to mount the motor plate. Again, the crane there is making this, supporting the auger to making this easier for us where you could just have somebody just to tug up on the auger too. And then these springs will go on the end of these bolts here. That uh, allows the motor to twist a little bit as it needs to. And we'll tighten these bolts. We've got the bolts on and the springs. I've tightened up the bolts and you want to tighten it so the spring is compressed to an inch and three eighths. And then you'll have the right setting. If you can get a, a pry bar, and this collar here needs to travel back and forth fairly freely. You can see the movement. That tells us that the auger flighting is in the right place here. Now we can tighten these bolts up on the bearing because the auger's found its happy place is parallel with the motor. And I'll tighten these bolts up. Thank you for watching this video and please call ProWall Support if you have any further questions.